The de Havilland Mosquito was a British aircraft that emerged during World War II as a highly versatile and innovative machine, earning itself the nickname, the Wooden Wonder. When the concept of the Mosquito was first proposed, it was quite unique. At a time when military thinking was primarily focused on heavily armed and armoured aircraft, the Mosquito went in a different direction. The Mosquito filled a need for a fast, high-flying and versatile aircraft that could undertake a variety of roles, all with minimal defensive armament. Its designers believed that speed and agility could be a better defence than heavy armour and turrets. With a light frame primarily constructed from wood, it harked back to an earlier era of aviation but this was combined with state-of-the-art engineering and a highly aerodynamic design. The aircraft was powered by two Rolls-Royce Merlin engines, which were liquid-cooled V-12 engines that proved to be both powerful and reliable. With these engines, the Mosquito could achieve a top speed of around 415 miles per hour and had a service ceiling of 37,000 feet. These specifications made it one of the fastest operational aircraft during the war. One of the most remarkable aspects of the Mosquito was its adaptability in terms of ordnance and rolls. The bomber variant could carry an impressive bomb load of 4,000 pounds. Some fighter bomber versions were equipped with cannons, machine guns, and even rockets. In addition to the traditional bomber role, it was used for photo reconnaissance, night fighting, and even as a pathfinder to mark targets for other bombers. There were numerous variants of the Mosquito tailored for different roles. For example, the Mosquito BMK-4 was a light bomber. The Mosquito NF MK-2 was configured as a night fighter with radar equipment, where it was highly successful in intercepting German bombers over British skies. And the Mosquito FB MK-6 was a fighter bomber variant that could carry a mix of bombs, rockets and guns. During the war, the Mosquito was used extensively and on various fronts. And as the demand for the aircraft grew, production was also established in other countries. In the United Kingdom, the main production facilities were located at Hatfield and Leavesden, both in Hertfordshire, England. These two facilities were operated by de Havilland itself. The company also had another factory in Broughton, Wales. In Canada, de Havilland Canada, located in Downsview, Toronto, played a significant role in the production of the Mosquito. Australia also contributed to the production of the Mosquito, with a manufacturing facility in Sydney. The Australian production mainly focused on supplying aircraft for use in the Pacific Theatre. In total, around 7,700 mosquitoes were built across all these facilities. The use of wood as a primary construction material allowed de Havilland to utilise a wider range of manufacturing facilities, including woodworking companies and furniture manufacturers, which could work with wood. The production involved bonding layers of wood with adhesives to create a strong and lightweight structure a technique that was groundbreaking at the time. The Mosquito was lauded for its precision bombing capability, and its speed allowed it to perform daring low-level raids, including the attack on the Gestapo headquarters in Copenhagen, taking place on March 21, 1945. Operation Carthage was designed not only to disrupt the Gestapo, but to rescue Danish resistance fighters and fellow operatives, whose imprisonment threatened the resistance movement. A squadron of de Havilland mosquitoes were chosen for this precision strike. They swooped in at low level, avoiding radar detection and anti-aircraft fire, and unleashed their deadly payload on the Gestapo headquarters situated within the Shellhus building. However, the mission was not without cost. Civilian casualties occurred due to a mistakenly hit nearby school, and some aircraft were lost. Despite the tragic collateral damage, the operation severely impaired Gestapo's capabilities in Copenhagen and showcased the Mosquito's prowess in precision bombing. The de Havilland Mosquito was a masterstroke of design that combined traditional materials with cutting-edge technology. Its speed, versatility and performance made it an invaluable asset during World War II, and it is remembered as one of the most iconic aircraft of that era.